What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. And let me tell you something. If you're a Madden gamer, if you're a football gamer, today you are frustrated. Today you are angry. Today you're upset. Because today we learned what we feared all along. EA had every opportunity. EA gave themselves. I want you to understand that. No one in the community asked them to delay this release, but EA gave themselves extra time to prepare to release something today that would wow the community. And now you understand why Clint came out last night and said this was kind of a big deal, that he was kind of excited, because even he knew today would underwhelm the community. Let's get the elephant in the room out of the way, and no, I don't mean the size of Christian McCaffrey's thigh, which looks bigger than his entire torso, but graphically, the game looks fantastic. But we've all known Madden looks great visually. We expect games to look great visually. So, I think personally, we're beyond the point going into yet another console generation that we're going to be taken back by a game's graphics. We want more than graphics, EA. We want substance. We want a game that we want to play, not look at. And that's where EA has really struggled to understand we're not looking for flash. We're looking for substance. We're not looking for you to show us the detail of a player model or the detail of a jersey. We're asking to see the player replicated, and that's where things go all downhill for EA in this release. So the first thing that they talk about in their own release is next-gen player movement fueled by real-world stats. Stats don't equate to player movement. The fact that they're talking about you know a chip in a uniform somehow relating to player movement, we need to know that the entire system was rebuilt. This doesn't say that. I need to know that you took out animations and put in a movement and physics system. Not fueled by real world stats. That's a stupid tagline. Next gen play calling. Are you serious? Star driven play calling? We've had this in the game for years. Getting the ball to your superstar players has never been easier? No. You know what makes this easier? When star players are star players. When Alvin Kamara plays like Alvin Kamara. Right? When Michael Thomas plays like Michael Thomas, you don't have to make it easier to get the ball to your star player. They're your star player. They get the ball naturally because they're the best player on the field. So as you see Cleveland blowing out Baltimore here, <laughs> makes a lot of sense for their cover athlete. Why are you going to tell me getting the ball to your superstar players has never been easier and then you show Lamar Jackson as the quarterback? He gets the ball as soon as it's snapped, EA. Do you watch football? Getting the ball to your star player like your quarterback has never been simpler. Guys, they had an extra two weeks. Now again, I'll give credit where credit's due, okay? We've seen a lot of sports games do a lot of things graphically, right? I agree that Madden, just to keep up with the sports genre, needs to have dynamic weather, weather effects. But at the same time, this is water on a jersey. This is a final touch. This does not matter. The sidelines, although you can't see them here, look awful. At least to me. I was expecting a lot more. But as you look at this picture of Lamar Jackson with the mouthpiece, hopefully it doesn't go through his mouth. We're going to go ahead and close this out with what we all knew. Right? We all feared, but we all knew. But it's so refreshing to see people put it in print. The fact that EA themselves knows that this game isn't ready. For those hoping for console-specific next-generation consoles in terms of franchise updates, that will not be happening. Sean Grady, who stood in front of us in July and promised a commitment, said that more franchise updates are coming, so basically what we're getting now is spoon-fed next-gen upgrades, and they're going to focus on Madden 22? Your EA is already selling into next year on a next-gen console release. You've got to be kidding me. But that's great, EA. At least you know that your game is awful right now. At least you know you've disappointed your community. At least you know you've took what people asked and you've not done it. Because you were busy with stats-driven replays or stats-driven movement and trying to figure out how to get the ball to star quarterbacks. Tip of the cap to you, Clint. Take a look at this. Here's something we've asked to be put back in the game for years. The staff hiring recap. So let me get this straight. 
You guys can pull the weather from Madden 04, but you can't go back and pull anything from EA head coach. Because anyone that's played this game for a long amount of time knows that's all you did. Right? You went back and you put the weather in from Madden 04 where we could select fog games. Right? We could select variable weather. Now all of a sudden it just appears. We're not stupid. Right? Your community has grown to understand what you do. The fact that you're trying to sell us a play calling screen tells us all we need to know. Because we used to have the ability to go and focus on players back when you had superstar players in the game, not as a mutt selling point, but you had player weapons. And we could focus on the players we needed to. You actually told us in a commercial that it taught you football because you would automatically know what players were good at on the field. Whether it was a fast receiver, a possession receiver, a strong quarterback, an elusive running back. Now you're going to tell us that you've taken NFL stats and you're somehow going to translate them over to movements? That doesn't even make sense. Right? You guys need stats to know which players are the most impactful in a game? You don't even have the stats right in your franchise games. You don't even have simulated stats right when you go through a season. You just got to the point you were putting in past season stats into your game. And now you're making that the focal point of gameplay? No. Do you know why no other game does this? Do you know why no other genre does this? Because it's stupid. Because it doesn't make sense. Because when you read it, it doesn't make sense. And the reason it doesn't make sense is they're not doing anything meaningful. They're not doing anything impactful. Okay? They have to sit there and create descriptions to make you think they're doing something more than they are. Yet they could literally sit there and tell you, oh, we've completely redone franchise mode. We have now where you can actually hire former players as coaches. And you can fire offensive coordinators or position coaches. They're not even in the game. That's why your community is frustrated. That's why your community is upset. Because we know you can't even do this right now because the first step of doing this is having the position and coordinators in the game and they're not there. This is an EA product. We're not asking for what other games have. We're not asking for what other games have done. We're not innovating anything and asking you for it. Right? Not one thing you do innovates in your game to this marketplace. Not one game, understand this, not one other game looks at what is in Madden and strives to be to that point. Every other sports title betters this game in just about every other way possible. Maybe not all in one collective game, okay? But each specific sports genre does not look at Madden and say, we need to replicate that. But as a community, as gamers, we absolutely look at what EA delivers and we correlate it to other sports titles and say, yes, we need this in there. Right? EA tries to do it. They try to bring in the yard. They try to bring in Superstar KO, but it doesn't stick. Because it's not even true to the sport. It's not even true to the game that people are wanting to play. Right? This is a game that is over 10 years old, and it allows you to hire Warwick Dunn as a running back coach because he was one of the greatest running backs in a couple franchises' histories. This allows you to hire Derek Brooks, who's a Hall of Fame linebacker, as a linebacking coach. This happens all... Actually, that would be as a defensive coordinator, but you understand the point. This happens all the time in real football. EA isn't even to the point you can do this in their game. Right? This is what we wanted to see. Right? If you look at the date on this, there's a reason it says 2012. That was the projected year. This is from a game that's eight years old. And EA isn't even there from their own product. And they're going to sit here today and sell us next-gen play calling? There's no such thing. You're going to tell us microchips and players is going to help movement? No. Go get a physics engine. Make your game better. Don't make things to sell your game to tell us it's better when we know that it's not. So now we know the truth. The reason you wouldn't be a launch title. The reason you need it in an extra two weeks. Because this really is 
the same game pulled into a next-gen console. All the hope you had to actually over-deliver for once, for once in the past 15 years, over-deliver a product. You had a day, you had extra time, and you still couldn't get it done. And you're going to impact 90% of this community that can't actually make credible content with this garbage football game. So congratulations. Go to every single person you have an agreement with today and you tell them you're sorry first. Because you're going to hurt every one of their forums, every one of their channels. Then apologize to the community for even having the audacity to putting something like this out and assuming we're going to be receptive or happy. You're not even proud of it yourself. Clint proved it last night when he said he was kind of excited. And that's why I said the first thing we knew there was going to be a problem is when the developers themselves aren't overly excited or proud because they know what's going to happen. They knew what the reception was going to be, and it's no surprise to them. Another poor excuse for a football game, but less excuses for EA to use. You can't tell us that you're restricted by consoles anymore. You can't tell us it's the console's fault you can't make a good game. No, it's the people in the building. It's the lack of passion. It's the lack of care. It's 1990 game code. Not your consoles. No other gaming company seems to have this problem. I appreciate you guys checking this out. As more horrible information comes out about this game, I'll be back to cover it in the week with more coming.